Hi students, good morning all of you. Hope you are all doing good. Welcome to lecture 15 in theory of equations. Hope you have watched the previous 14 lectures in this topic. In this lecture, I will be discussing some problems on transformed equations with certain terms missing and we will define reciprocal equations and we will solve certain reciprocal equations. Now let me discuss reciprocal polynomial. Here is the definition. A polynomial f of x of degree n greater than 0 is said to be a reciprocal polynomial if f of 0 is not equal to 0. f of 0 means what? It's a constant term. And f of x is equal to a0 by f of 0 into x to the power n into f of x, f of 1 by x. That means if you find out this expression a0 divided by f of 0 into x to the power n into f of 1 by x, if you simplify this expression, you should get it as f of x. For all x belongs to complex numbers except 0. Okay, because uh, 1 by 0 cannot be defined where a0 is the leading coefficient of f of x. If f of x is a reciprocal polynomial, then the equation f of x is equal to 0 is said to be a reciprocal equation. Okay. Now we have a small note here. If f of x is a reciprocal polynomial and alpha be a complex number, then alpha is a root of f of x is equal to 0 of multiplicity m, then if and only if 1 by alpha is a root of f of x is equal to 0 of multiplicity m. That means for a reciprocal equation, if alpha is a root, then 1 by alpha is also a root of it. Okay, let us see if alpha is a root, how this 1 by alpha is going to be a root of it. Okay. Now let me take let alpha. let alpha be a root of reciprocal equation f of x is equal to 0 implies f of alpha is equal to 0. Now I would like to show that to show f of 1 by alpha is equal to 0. Now what is f of 1 by alpha according to the definition i am using the definition here f of 1 by alpha is equal to a naught divided by f at 0 into x to the power n that can be written as 1 by alpha to the power n f of 1 divided by 1 by alpha that is equal to a naught divided by f at 0 into 1 by alpha power n into f of alpha. So we are we have given that that means since alpha is a root f of alpha must be 0. So this is equal to a naught divided by f at 0 into 1 by alpha power n into 0 that is equal to 0. So what did we get f of 1 by alpha is also a root of it similarly one can assume if 1 by alpha is a root then alpha is a root of it so we have proved if alpha is a root of f of x then 1 by al alpha is also a root of f of x is equal to 0 then it carries the multiplicity also if alpha is a root of f of x is equal to 0 of multiplicity m then 1 by alpha is also a root of f of x is equal to 0 with the same multiplicity. Okay. Now let us look at some examples of reciprocal polynomial. Here is an example. f of x is equal to 3x power 4 plus 2x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 3. Okay, let us see whether it is uh, it satisfies the definition of the reciprocal polynomial or not. See leading coefficient here is a0 that is highest power coefficient leading coefficient is a0 is equal to 3 and I f evaluated at 0 means if I substitute f at 0 then we are going to get the constant term and here the degree is degree of the polynomial is n is equal to 4. 
Now let us compute a naught divided by f at 0 x to the power 4 into f of 1 by x. This is equal to a naught is 3, f 0 is 3, x power 4 into, I am substituting in place of x 1 by x here, 3 by x power 4 plus 2 by x cube plus 1 by x square plus 2 by x plus 3. Now 3 by 3 is anyway 1, x to the power 4 if I multiply then we get 3 plus 2x plus x square plus 2x cube plus 3x power 4. This is nothing but your f of x. So f of x is a reciprocal polynomial. Let us look at the second example. f2 of x is equal to 3x power 4 plus 2x cube minus 2x minus 3. Okay. Here the leading coefficient a0 is equal to 3 and uh, the f2 at 0 is minus 3. That means the constant term here is minus 3 and degree is degree remains same. Now let us evaluate this uh, quantity a0 divided by f2 at 0 x power 4 f2 of 1 by x that is equal to 3 divided by 1 by 3 x power 4 into 3 by x power 4 that means I am substituting in place of x 1 by x here again. Now this becomes minus of 3 plus 2x minus 2x cube minus 3x to the power 4 this is equal to 3x power 4 plus 2x cube minus 2x minus 3 this is nothing but your f2 of x so f2 is also a reciprocal polynomial okay now let me discuss a theorem which really helps us in identifying a reciprocal polynomial as well as reciprocal equation here is the statement of the theorem let f of x is equal to a naught x power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 and so on up to a n be a polynomial of degree n greater than 0 then f of x is a reciprocal polynomial if and only if a n minus k is equal to a k for k is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on up to n or a n minus k is equal to minus a k that means this this theorem precisely tells any polynomial suppose if you want to identify whether a given polynomial is a reciprocal polynomial or not you have to verify this condition a n minus k is equal to a k or not and this a n minus k is equal to minus a k or not that means if k is equal to 0 then this becomes what k is equal to 0 is a n and this is k is equal to 0 means this is a naught if you observe this a naught and a n a naught is the leading coefficient a naught is the leading coefficient and a n is the constant term that means this is the a naught is the first term and a n is the first last term that means last from the last from the last it is the first term now n minus 1 if k is equal to 1 if i substitute then this becomes a n minus 1 this is equal to a1 that means this is the second term and this a n minus 1 is the second last term okay so like this you can verify this condition now a n minus k is equal to similarly a n minus k is equal to minus a k okay now this theorem also helps us in constructing a reciprocal polynomial suppose if you want if uh, somebody asks you to give an example of a reciprocal polynomial using this condition we can construct an example let us look at some examples here f1 of x is equal to whether this is a reciprocal polynomial or not let us look at this this is the first term and this is the last term <clears throat> these two are one and the same and next second term and the second last term these two are one and the same and this one this condition so a n minus k what is a n minus k a n minus k is uh, uh, this is third one 5 minus 3 is equal to 3 k is equal to 3 okay <clears throat> so this condition is satisfied so f1 of x is a reciprocal polynomial okay let us look at the second example using this condition a n minus k is equal to minus a k so 3 
and this is minus 3 and 2 that is equal to minus 2. So this is the first and the last term. These two uh, coefficients are deferred by minus sign and these two coefficients are deferred by minus sign and you can observe that the x square coefficient is actually 0 in this particular example. So let us let me discuss why exactly is that. So if I take k is equal to k is equal to 2 k is equal to 2 so a 4 minus 2 is equal to a 2 actually so a 4 minus 2 is what a 2 that is equal to minus a 2 that means 2 a 2 must be is equal to 0 implies a 2 is equal to 0 so that's why x square coefficient is 0 x square coefficient is 0 so this is an example in which suppose if you want to construct a reciprocal polynomial using this condition and uh, degree of uh, n degree of the polynomial must be an even degree polynomial then x square coefficient that is x to the power m coefficient must be 0 and for the rest of the terms you can follow this particular rule so this is this is what one has to remember whenever you are using this condition a n minus k is equal to minus a k to construct a reciprocal polynomial or to identify a reciprocal polynomial of even degree okay now let us look at the third example this is of degree 5 using this condition a n minus k is equal to minus a k now this is the first one this is the last term these two differ by minus sign and the two second 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 term and the second last term 2 and minus 2 and uh, 3 and minus 3 so for an odd degree polynomial there is uh, there is that's not a problem but for an even degree polynomial see that x square and that means x to the power if n is equal to 2m then x power m coefficient must be 0 okay now we can clearly identify the difference between f uh, example 2 and example 3 now if at all i want to construct a non example non example how can i make this non reciprocal simply i'll just give the same thing 5x to the power 4 plus 2x to the power 4 plus 3x cube minus 3x square minus 2x i'll write it as simply 5 here now these two are plus 5 that means these two take the same sign but these two takes the opposite sign so this is not reciprocal simply not a reciprocal polynomial okay so in this way this theorem helps us either to construct a reciprocal polynomial or to identify a reciprocal polynomial okay hope you have understood the utility of this theorem okay we have we are not discussing the proof of it anyway that's the, the proof is given in the textbook let me discuss some definitions now here is the definitions a reciprocal polynomial f of x of degree n with leading coefficient a naught is said to be of class 1 or class 2 accordingly as f0 is equal to a naught or minus a naught that means you how to tell whether a reciprocal polynomial is a class 1 or class 2 just you have to verify this condition if f0 is equal to a naught we call it as class 1 reciprocal polynomial if f0 is equal to minus a naught then we say that it's a class 2 reciprocal polynomial if a if f of x is a reciprocal polynomial then the equation f of x is equal to 0 is said to be a reciprocal equation we have seen it already but whether this is a class 1 reciprocal equation or a class 2 reciprocal equation it follows whether uh, it follows whether f of x is a class 1 polynomial or class 2 polynomial hope you have understood this point here are some here are the examples of class 1 and class 2 reciprocal polynomials of course we have seen this example already this is a reciprocal polynomial now whether it's a class 1 or class 2 how to identify 
have to check this condition f0 is equal to 3 and uh, leading coefficient is 3 so f0 is equal to a naught so it's a class 1 reciprocal polynomial and a class 2 reciprocal polynomial example f2 of course we have seen this is also a reciprocal polynomial f0 is equal to minus 3 and a0 is equal to 3 so f0 is equal to minus a0 so it's a class 2 reciprocal polynomial okay hope you have understood the definitions let me discuss some points on how to solve a reciprocal polynomial equation here are the points let me discuss it one by one for an odd degree reciprocal equation of class 1 minus 1 is always a root for an odd degree reciprocal equation of class 2 1 is always a root okay for an even degree reciprocal equation of class 2 both 1 and minus 1 are the roots of it to solve a reciprocal equation of order 2m divide the equation by x to the power m and make the substitution x plus 1 by x is equal to y or x minus 1 by x is equal to y accordingly as the equation is of class 1 or class 2 then the transformed equation is a polynomial equation of degree m actually okay it means here what they are discussing is if at all you are uh, given a reciprocal polynomial of even degree 2m divide that polynomial with x to the power m and make this substitution and then solve the equation here are some more points let f of x is equal to 0 be an odd degree reciprocal equation that means if at all you are given a reciprocal equation of odd degree first you have to divide f of x with x plus 1 or x minus 1 accordingly as the equation is of class 1 or class 2 if at all it is a class 1 equation divide with x plus 1 if at all it is a class 2 equation divide with x minus 1 after dividing it let q of x be the quotient obtained then this f of x can be expressed as x plus 1 into q of x or x minus 1 into q of x according to accordingly as uh, f of x is a reciprocal equation of class 1 or class 2 then this q of x is a even degree reciprocal polynomial and now we have to solve this even degree polynomial using the procedure mentioned just in the last slide means just now we have discussed how to solve an even degree reciprocal polynomial okay after solving this uh, polynomial q of x is equal to 0 then you can obtain the roots of f of x is equal to 0 this is how one can solve a reciprocal equation okay now let us solve some reciprocal equations here is the first problem solve the equation x to the power 4 minus 10x cube plus 26x square minus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0 okay now let us solve this problem here is the solution first you have to observe something observe that this one first coefficient is equal to the first one and minus 10 this is equal to this is minus 10 and 26 so this is a reciprocal polynomial reciprocal polynomial reciprocal equation of class 1 this is of even degree okay so so what is uh, how do we solve this uh, particular equation even degree of class 1 so divide let f of x is equal to x to the power 4 minus 10 x cube plus 26 x square minus 10 x plus 1 is equal to 0 ok so we call this as equation 1 equation 1 divided by x square because here n is equal to 4 that can be written as 2 into 2 so divide with x to the power 2 then we get x square minus 10 x plus 26 minus 10 by x plus 1 by x square that is equal to 0 
now group the terms x plus x square x square plus 1 by x square now these two terms if I club it minus 10 into x plus 1 by x plus 26 is equal to 0 now substitute x plus 1 by x is equal to y this implies x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x is equal to y square implies x square plus 1 by x square is equal to this is 2 actually this is uh, y square minus 2 ok now you call it as equation 2 substitute these things in equation 2 we get this is y square minus 2 minus 10 into y plus 26 is equal to 0 implies y square minus 10 y plus 24 is equal to 0 okay because minus 2 plus 26 is 24 so this implies this can be factorized as y minus 6 into y minus 4 is equal to 0 implies y is equal to either 6 or 4 okay now let me continue the problem here here is the continuation case 1 if y is equal to 4 so y is equal to 4 means x plus 1 by x is equal to 4 so that is x square plus 1 divided by x is equal to 4 implies x square plus 1 minus 4x is equal to 0 that is x square minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 now the roots are the roots are minus of minus 4 plus r minus b square minus 4 whole square minus 4 into a into c divided by 2 so that is equal to 4 plus r minus this is 16 minus 4 is 12 root 12 root 12 to in can be written as 2 root 3 divided by 2 so that is equal to 2 plus r minus root 3 now let me discuss case 2 if y is equal to 6 okay then x plus 1 by x is equal to 6 here implies this is x square minus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0 then the roots are minus of minus 6 plus r minus b square that is minus 6 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 1 divided by 2 into 1 so that is 6 plus r minus under root is 36 minus 4 divided by 2 so 6 plus r minus 60 36 minus 4 is 32 this can be written as 4 into root 2 divided by 2 so that is equal to 3 plus r minus 2 root 2 therefore the roots of the given equation are the roots are 2 plus r minus root 3 comma 3 plus r minus 2 root 2 ok so we have solved a reciprocal equation given reciprocal equation of uh, even degree and class 1 ok now let us solve one more problem here is our next problem solve the equation 2x power 5 plus x power 4 minus 12x cube minus 12x square plus x plus 2 is equal to 0 ok so this is a reciprocal equation of uh, class 1 
class 1 why because uh, f0 is equal to 2 that is equal to 2 which is a naught and it's uh, odd degree polynomial okay so solution let f of x is equal to 2x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 minus 12 x cube minus 12 x square plus x plus 2 is equal to 0 we know that we know that minus 1 is a root of minus 1 is a root of f of x is equal to 0 okay so we divide this f of x with uh, x plus 1 okay we use uh, this f of x can be expressed as f of x plus 1 into q of x we will find q of x using Horner synthetic division i will write this 2 1 minus 12 minus 12 1 and 2 here let me divide that so I have to divide with x plus 1 here so this is 0 2 2 plus 0 is 2 minus 1 into 2 is uh, minus 2 this becomes minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 this becomes minus 11 minus 11 minus 1 into minus 11 is 11 so this becomes minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 so this becomes 0 so this implies f of x is equal to x plus 1 into this is uh, 2 x to the power 4 minus x cube minus 11 x square minus x plus 2 okay so this is uh, even degree class 1 equation class 1 equation so let us solve q of x let us solve q of x is equal to 0 so for that what we need to do divide q of x by x square ok we get so 2 x square minus x minus 11 minus 1 by x square sorry, minus 11 by x plus 2 by x square is equal to 0 so this is uh, 2 into x square plus uh, 1 by x square minus of x plus 1 by x minus 11 is equal to 0 substitute x plus 1 by x is equal to y implies x square plus 1 by x square is equal to y square minus 2 in the last problem we have seen this now upon substituting in equation maybe we call this as equation 1 in equation 1 we get two into y square minus 2 minus y minus 11 is equal to 0 implies 2 y square minus y minus 40 minus 4 minus 11 it is uh, minus 15 is equal to 0 ok now let us solve this continuation here it is uh, 2 y square minus y minus 15 is equal to 0 so this is 2 y square minus 6 y plus 5 y minus 15 is equal to 0 so 2 y if i take common this becomes y minus 3 plus 5 into y minus 3 is equal to 0 so this is 2 y plus 5 into 
y minus 3 is equal to 0 so this implies y is equal to 3 or y is equal to minus 5 by 2 sorry case 1 y is equal to 3 let us take and this is my case 2 y is equal to minus 5 by 2 so x plus 1 by x is equal to 3 implies x square minus 3y plus 1 is equal to sorry x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 the roots are minus of minus 3 plus r minus b square minus 4 into 1 into 1 divided by 2 into 1 so this is 3 plus r minus under root 9 minus 4 divided by 2 that is equal to 3 3 plus r minus root 5 divided by 2 now x plus case 2 let us discuss x plus 1 by x is equal to minus 5 by 2 so this is x, x square plus 1 by x is equal to minus 5 by 2 so this is 2x square plus 2 is equal to minus 5x implies 2x square plus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 so this can be written as 2x square plus 4x plus x plus 2 is equal to 0 so take common 2x which becomes x plus 2 and uh, here also I have, take, I have taken common x plus 2 is equal to 0 implies this is 2x plus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to 0 this implies x is equal to minus 1 by 2 comma minus 2 okay therefore the roots are the roots of f of x is equal to 0 are roots of f of x is equal to 0 are minus 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 1 by 2 comma 3 plus r minus root 5 divided by 2 okay these are the roots of the given equation okay hope you have understood this problem let us solve the next reciprocal equation here is the reciprocal equation solve the equation 6 x power 6 minus 25 x to the power 5 plus 31 x to the power 4 minus 31 x square plus 25 x minus 6 is equal to 0 let us solve this problem this is a reciprocal equation or not let us check it so 6 and you can see it is minus 6 minus 25 plus 25 31 and minus 31 so this is class 2 reciprocal polynomial because f0 is equal to minus 6 that is equal to minus a naught okay and it's a even degree polynomial even degree polynomial okay so let us solve this equation let f of x is equal to 6 x to the power 6 minus 25 x to the power 5 plus 31 x to the power 4 minus 31 x square plus 25 x minus 6 okay we know that this is an even degree class 2 equation we know that both 1 comma minus 1 are the roots of f of x is equal to 0 okay now this f of x can be written as 
since both are the roots x plus 1 into x minus 1 into q of x let us find q of x using the synthetic division so let me write the coefficients in this order 6 minus 25 31 and here x cube coefficient is 0 so I have I am writing 0 here and this is uh, minus 31 and 25 minus 6 here let me divide with 1 0 so 6 plus 0 is 6 6 into 1 is 6 minus 25 plus 6 is uh, minus 19 1 into minus 19 so minus 19 plus 31 is 12 so 1 into 12 is 12 here 12 here 1 into 12 here so this becomes minus 19 1 into minus 19 is uh, minus 19 25 minus 19 is 6 6 into 1 is 6 so this becomes 0 now let me divide with the minus 1 so this becomes minus 1 into 6 is uh, minus 6 so this is minus 25 minus 1 into minus 25 is 25 this becomes 37 minus 1 into 37 is minus 37 this becomes minus 25 minus 1 into minus 25 is 25 25 minus 19 is 6 6 into minus 1 is minus 6 so this becomes 0 so this implies f of x is equal to let me write that here f of x is equal to x square minus 1 into 6x to the power 4 minus 25 x cube plus 37 x square minus 25 x plus 6 okay now we have to solve this is a this is my q of x and uh, D even degree even degree and it is class 2 equation is it class 1 equation class 1 equation so divide q of x with the x square we get this is a 6 x square minus 25 x plus 37 minus 25 by x plus 6 by x square is equal to 0 so upon grouping the terms 6 into x square plus 1 by x square minus 25 into x plus 1 by x plus 37 is equal to 0 let us substitute Put x plus 1 by x is equal to y implies y square uh, x square plus 1 by x square is equal to y square minus 2 okay now substituting this in equation 1 we get here is the continuation so we have to substitute that y square minus 2 and uh, y here plus 37 is equal to 0 so that is 6 y square minus 25 y minus 12 plus 37 is plus 25 is equal to 0 so 6 into 25 is equal to 150 this can be written as 10 into 15 so this can be further factorized as 6 y square minus 10 y minus 15 y plus 25 is equal to 0 okay 
so let me take common let me write this this way 6y square minus 15y minus 10y plus 25 is equal to 0 let me take common 3y here this becomes 2y minus 5 minus 5 if i take common this becomes 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 so this becomes 3y minus 5 into 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 therefore the roots are the possible y values are the possible y values are y is equal to 5 by 2 or 5 by 3 Now this is case 1, y is equal to 5 by 2 and this is case 2, y is equal to 5 by 3. Now let me substitute back what is y, y is equal to x plus 1 by x, <coughs> this implies x square plus 1 by x is equal to 5 by 2 and uh, x square plus 1 by x is equal to 5 by 3 here implies 2x square plus 2 is equal to 5x implies 2x square minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 so it is 2x square minus 4x minus x plus 2 is equal to 0 so it is a 2x if i take common this becomes x minus 2 minus 1 if i take common this is a x minus 2 so this becomes 2x minus 1 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 implies x is equal to 2 comma 1 by 2 this is uh, 3 x square plus 3 or 3 x square minus 5 x plus 3 is equal to 0 so the roots are minus of minus 5 plus or minus b square is minus 5 square minus 4 into 3 into 3 divided by 2 into 3 so it is 5 plus or minus under root 25 minus 36 so 25 minus 36 is minus 11 divided by 6 so that is equal to 5 plus or minus i root 11 divided by 6 therefore the roots of the required equation is the roots of f of x is equal to 0 or plus or minus 1 comma 2 comma 1 by 2 comma 5 plus or minus i root 11 divided by 6 so these are the roots of the given equation this is how one can solve a given reciprocal equation hope you have understood these problems okay there are some more some more problems given uh, in the textbook they are solved all the exercise problems have been solved here work out the solved problems also for more practice okay